full of it in. It's my job. Pardon that. I normally just walk around behind people during class and I tap their arm and very much. Right? Okay? So my call of hand is mostly about preventing the other person from coming up towards me. My power curl is fighting me with places that are trying to pull me forward. Then it means trying to go to their chest. Yeah? So let's fight that. Nicely. Yeah? Just using the strong part of his body, I'll use the strong part of my body to counter it. Right? And then my hands are ready. Then we're going to place our arms. So that we can dictate, yeah, which leg they're going to follow my head. Because they want to aim for the head. Yeah, when they, when they open, when they, because this movement goes back into our dirty feet, they close the broken arm. He's like, oh, I'm trying not to. I'm trying to. Let's go to the side. Let's go to the side. Right? Okay, that's right. Right? So, so, what I'm saying is that you don't have to fight to open the guy's gun. When you're inside the guard, your posture and things like this, yeah, should be enough and your little early warning signals, yeah, right? So the thing I guess that we're hitting on is like feel what's going on, yeah, right? Understand how your body's working and, and feel what's going to happen, right? So now, make them open. So we've got a position, whatever you like, and I'm here like this, right? I've left one gate open. He goes through that. As he goes, because I'm not saying don't have any contact, because if no contact means no feeling, and we need to feel it. So I've got contact with the limb. So as it starts to move, I, I feel it early. Yeah? Right? As it's going out, not grabbing. Octopus, all the suckers. Just touch it. Yeah? Right? Now, what most people do is put their, their shin behind the knee, like that. Yeah? We like to find points to grab or to move towards. Yeah? And it's kind of pointing. There seems to be a spot in our shin there for it, so we're just going to put it there. The problem is, he can now still use his hamstring to hold tight like that and maybe go through the heave or something like that. So his leg operates fine. Like that's a joint. It's not really supposed to move. Like That's what it does. Yeah? So this part of the leg is for power. Yeah? This part of the leg is for what? Dexterity. Yeah? So when I go in the middle, I'm not really solving much. I'm sitting in between power and dexterity. Yeah? And I kind of need to choose. So my hand here, my, my knee, right? Because the big part of my leg fights the big part of the leg. Yeah? And I'm not trying to push it down. Right? Keep your foot on the floor, don't let me push it down. Palm. Yeah? Right? Same thing. Don't roll. His body is a cylinder, it wants to roll. So you just move the whole body rather than just fight the leg. Or you can use your heel, pull his leg away. But what is creating the strength? Like, why is that strong? Hold it tight. Like, what's allowing that? Like, he's using his adductor to squeeze me. Lift your foot off the ground and do the same thing. <laughs> he's freaking out. He's like, it's not going to happen. So where, what is supporting all of that strength? And it's this contact with the floor. So what I'm 